Today, when polling is underway for 121 seats in 12 states for the Lok Sabha elections, senior Congress leader and party candidate from Trivandrum, Shashi Tharoor, unperturbed by the hullabaloo around, spoke to NNIs exclusively to shed some light on the issues of importance during the 2014 elections. NNIS caught up with Shashi Tharoor, Minister of State for Human Resources and Development, for his take on the strategies adopted by the BJP during the 2014 general elections. Tharoor warned the people of the country not to be misled by the propaganda of marketing gurus and posters in the ongoing elections. No, nationally, obviously, we expect to be forming a UPA government again because we believe that in these last 10 years, our performance in transforming the lives of millions of our countrymen and women will stand for itself. As you know, the BJP believes it's going to win. We'll see what the voters decide. But in my view, uh, they should not be misled by the propaganda of marketing gurus and pollsters. In this country, voters decide elections, not pollsters. Tharoor thinks the Safran party is making a big mistake of believing their publicity. He added that no matter what the results may be, the Congress party's history won't disappear with one election. There is no life and death in our democracy. We have a, a, a hundred and... Uh, 27-year history in this country and that history will not end with one election in any case. We expect to do well, but nonetheless, whatever the results are, we are there to stay. The Congress Party's history does not disappear with one election. The BJP can speak for itself, but we believe that the BJP is making the big, big mistake of believing their own publicity. They have managed to convince themselves that their victory is inevitable. I believe there is going to be no BJP victory and therefore they will have a rude shock when 16th of May comes around. Asked about the recent meeting between the poster boy and the superstar Rajnikanth, Tharoor lampooned Namo and offered the BJP PM nominee a piece of advice of not borrowing prestige of other people to impress the people of Tamil Nadu. Well, this shows that Mr. Modi has no particular appeal by himself. If he was so popular, he wouldn't need to try and add to him, to his uh, luster, the popularity of other movie stars. So he allies with Mr. Vijay Kant. Then he goes and meets Mr. Rajni Kant, which does not make Mr. Vijay Kant happy. Then today he goes and meets Mr. Vijay, which doesn't make Mr. Rajni Kant happy. So now it's getting to be a bit silly. I think he should try and impress the people of Tamil Nadu with himself uh, rather than by borrowing the, the uh, prestige of other people. This report was brought to you by NNIS.